Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I'm going to show you that an XLR to USB cable like this one only works well with one type of microphone. For this video, we're going to use a Shure SM58, which is a handheld dynamic microphone. We're also going to use the Shure SM7B, which is a, more of a studio dynamic microphone. It's extremely popular for podcasts and home recording. And the AKG C3000B, which is a wide diaphragm condenser microphone. So first, before we get started, I'm going to plug this into the computer so you can hear what each microphone sounds like. So on the computer, we're going to open our system preferences. We're going to select our sound settings. And then we're going to select the USB audio device that we just plugged in. The first microphone that we're going to test is the AKG wide diaphragm condenser microphone. We're going to plug that in. We're going to turn the volume on the computer up to 100% and try speaking into the microphone. Now you can see here that this input level is not moving at all, and that's because condenser microphones require 48 volts of phantom power in order to work. This microphone or any other condenser microphone uses a completely different technology that requires external power and it will not work with this solution. Next, I'm going to try this with the Shure SM7B. Now I can speak in the Shure SM7B and you're going to hear two things. One, you're going to hear that this microphone is working, but you're going to hear a high level of hissing and static, and that's because this microphone preamp is cranked all the way to 100%. It's just working too hard and it's struggling too much to get this microphone to work. Now, granted, the Shure SM7B isn't the average microphone. It is known to have a notoriously high gain requirement, but for the XLR to USB cable that we're using today, it didn't provide a good enough noise to volume ratio in order to make that microphone viable. Next, we're going to try the Shure SM58. So we plug this in and we can see right away that it's coming in pretty hot. So I'm going to turn the volume down and I can see here that I'm pretty happy with the input level. So we can make the conclusion that this XLR to USB cable will probably work for any dynamic handheld microphone. If it's a basic dynamic microphone, I think this will work for you. It'll get you a cheap solution for getting your uh, microphone into your computer for whatever kind of project that you're working on, whether it's live streaming, home recording, studio recording, or anything like that, video conferencing. Uh, but I don't think that the Shure SM7B is viable, and I definitely the AKG, the condenser microphone is definitely not viable. It didn't make any sound. So there you have it. We tested three different microphones. I hope you got the same opinion that I did. If you have a different opinion, I'd like to hear about it in the comment section below. If you want to look up pricing or specs for anything that you've seen in this video, please check out the links in the description below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.